How was your weekend? I was slightly nervous about mine, only because I was home alone. Um, I don't think I've been home alone in 20 years. <laughs> Quite literally, because the female members of my family have all gone off on a jaunt. It's half term, so Maud was free. Alice was available. My wife wanted to go somewhere. They'd been invited somewhere by friends, and so they've gone. They've left me. Alfie is off at his Halsey University. So for the first time ever, I mean, quite literally, I think the first time in 20 years, there's been times when my wife's been away, but I've had the kids and times when the kids have been away, but been with the wife. I don't think I've ever been in my home on my own for an entire weekend. In fact, an entire week, which is coming up in 20 years. I know it was. It was a bit wow. So I was, I was slightly nervous, slightly trepidatious, quite excited at the prospect in some senses. I was thinking of all these sort of boys, things I could do. And I was going to play very loud avant-garde jazz on my own. And I was going to get takeaways at strange hours and do all sorts of things like this. But I did sort of think I'd be on my own for quite a big chunk of it. And then Saturday came. And I went to work and I went home after work and I thought, right, I know what I'll do. I'll go and I'll, have, I'll take a book and I'll eat lunch on my own. You know, I'll just have a bowl of pasta and a glass of white wine. And I was walking down Parkway going to do just that. And I walked past the Dublin Castle and someone shouted out, Robert. And I turned around and it was Suggs from Madness who was standing in the Dublin Castle. And he said, come over. And he said, my, I think it was my, his brother-in-law's band, the Skiff Scats, were playing. So he said, just come in and have a pint. So, Boz Borrower was in there, uh, who's an old friend, went to school with Boz. He happened to be in there. He'd been in, in the record shop next door. Um, and so he was dragged in as well. And basically about four hours and five pints later, I managed to stumble out of there. <laughs> Having had a fantastic afternoon, not not done any of the things I intended to. I certainly hadn't read the book. I actually had a book under my arm because I'd gone out with a book. So I spent the whole gig clasping a copy of Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea that I intended to read. So that didn't work. So then I sort of fell into bed, basically, and fell a kip very early watching the telly. Then the next day, I, then I got an email from a mate saying, come on, I know your wife's not there. Come out for a big bike ride. So I went off yesterday and did the longest ride I've done in ages. Went over to, to Richmond and did all around there. and did, did, I mean, it wasn't mammoth, but it was fairly big, sort of 60, 70k. Um, did that. Came home, thought, right, now finally I'm on my own. Alfie knocks on the door, says, Dad, can you buy me lunch? He says, <laughs> says I'm desperate for a roast dinner. So I ended up having to take him out for lunch. And then we did that. So I haven't had a single moment on my own yet. And I've just got an email from Alf saying, I'm going to come back tonight to look after you, he said. So, <laughs> so I'm, not, I'm basically haven't been on my own for a bit, but it was a lovely weekend. I had a really nice time. My wife must go away more often. Um, now, I didn't intend to have a party at any point whatsoever, I must admit. Right then, so that was my weekend. Um, and it was fantastic. It was because it was full of things that you just didn't expect. I love that one when you walk out of the house, not thinking anything's going to happen. And four hours later, you're dancing to some sort of country billy music, which is what I was doing with the skiff scats uh, in the Dublin Castle. And actually, one of my listeners is, is over on the Facebook page. Um, Richard says, it was great to see you and Suggs at the Dublin Castle for the Skiff Scats gig. Could you tell me again the story of the four castle pubs? Yeah, I can, because I think this is one of the great acts of cultural vandalism of our age. Basically, in Camden Town and its environs, there were four pubs named after castles. Three of them are still there. We've still got the Dublin Castle, where I went on, on Saturday to watch that gig. We've still got the Edinburgh Castle, funnily enough, where I went on Sunday to have lunch with Alfie. We had lunch at the Edinburgh Castle. We've still got the, is it the Carnarvon Castle going up towards Primrose Hill? That is a theme here. Edinburgh Castle, Scottish. Dublin Castle, Irish. Carnarvon Castle, Welsh. There used to be the Windsor Castle, also on Parkway. And the reason was that when those pubs were built, and it was the time when the navvies, the navigators, were building the canals and the railways of Camden Town. So you had this area full of rather roused about workmen from all over Britain. So what they did was build one, one pub for the Irish, one for the English, one for the Scottish, one for the Welsh, so that they wouldn't meet in the same pubs and have a, have a punch up on Friday nights. So we had the four castles, one for each of the home nations. And then about five years ago, someone took over the, the Windsor Castle and called it NW1. And we lost one of the castles of Camden Town. It's now a chain burger place or a chain restaurant thing. And I refuse to go in there. 